What is going on guys, it's Amit and I'm super excited because today we're starting a brand new series on JavaScript. So welcome to your very first lesson. In this first lesson, let's start by answering the most obvious question, what is JavaScript? If you enjoy the content, consider hitting like and subscribe down below and don't forget to click the bell and choose all notifications so you never miss an update. Okay, so what is JavaScript? For those who don't know, JavaScript is an object-based scripting language. Now don't worry, we'll get to grips with exactly what that means as we progress through the series, but essentially, JavaScript is a language that is used to make websites dynamic and interactive. So, for example, let's say you want a new section to appear when the user clicks a button. Well, we can't really do this with HTML and CSS, but we can do this with JavaScript. Or let's say you have a website and you want it to always display the current time. Again, there's no real way of doing this with HTML and CSS alone, but we can accomplish this with JavaScript. So think about JavaScript then as the final piece to the puzzle when it comes to building websites. Now, I'm guessing you're here because you've learned HTML, you've learned CSS, and now you want to learn JavaScript while you're in the right place, because by the end of this series, you're going to gain a solid understanding and more importantly, a professional working knowledge of JavaScript. And in this series, we're going to be covering pretty much everything you need to know. Now, it's my aim to make this series fun and interactive, but you should know that there's definitely a learning curve here, especially if you have no prior experience with programming languages. Now the fun isn't in there because JavaScript is actually very dynamic in and of itself. JavaScript can be used not only to build websites on the front end, but it can also be used as a back end or server side language with Node.js. And it's not just used to power websites, we can also use it to build mobile apps with something like React Native. And it can even be used to build games. So here I am playing this game here, and as you can see I'm not very good at it. I'll leave a link to this in the description box below, check it out. But as you can see, JavaScript is a very dynamic language. Now before we get into JavaScript, there are a few things that you should know. You should know how to write HTML and CSS as mentioned earlier. There are full tutorials to both of those on the channel, so I would strongly recommend going through those before continuing here. But for those who are ready, let me go ahead and show you an example of JavaScript. Okay, so I'm just in the browser here, I'm using Google Chrome. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose inspect. And what we're looking for is the console tab, so here it is right here. Click on this. And now inside here, we're going to write our first line of JavaScript. And of course, don't worry if you don't know what we're doing here, we will be going over this in detail later on. So here then, we've got the word alert, and then in brackets, we have double quotes, and then inside those double quotes, I've written JS wizard in the making. And we end it with a semicolon here. So let's go ahead and put the cursor at the end, and press enter or return and see what happens. So as you can see, we have an alert box, remember we used the word alert down here, and inside the alert box it says JS wizard in the making, which is exactly what we put in here. Now, I want you to notice something. We didn't have to go and download anything from anywhere, and that's because the interpreter for JavaScript is built into most modern browsers. So we can make use of the console here to write JavaScript. And we'll be getting very familiar with this as we go throughout this series. Let's just go ahead and close our alert box. And now let's summarize this first lesson. So JavaScript is an object-based scripting language that is used to make our websites more dynamic and interactive. It's the final piece of the puzzle when it comes to web development, along with HTML and CSS. And finally, we can use our browsers to write JavaScript because the interpreter for JavaScript is actually built into most modern browsers. In the next lesson, we're going to look at how to include JavaScript into our project. So we'll go ahead and create a new folder and all the files that we need. And I'll be showing you the different ways that we can add JavaScript to our project. I'll also show you how to avoid some common pitfalls and the most preferred way to add JavaScript. So that's it for this lesson, guys. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you on the next one.